Hello, my name is Kiriath, and uh, it looks like I was pretty spot on when I said this yesterday. I look forward to, what, maybe an hour, if that, of them actually putting the full picture of the model up for us to look at, having already looked at the low resolution one, because that's just how this works. <laughs> So if you're not up to speed, yesterday there was an article talking about how Primaris were being eaten by Tyranids or something. I forget the actual content of the article, which is quite bad, but there was an image embedded in it and it contained this little cheeky chappy right here, which has now been confirmed to be the Parasite of Mortrex, which, I mean, I'd forgotten that was a thing. I'm not going to lie, I put a bit of artwork in yesterday's video and I couldn't remember where I got it from or what it was. And a lot of people got quite excited because it is artwork of the aforementioned Parasite of Mordrex out of the 5th edition codex. And I believe it was a character in the 5th and 6th edition codexes without an official model. But then they started doing that thing where the characters that didn't have models were just axed because they didn't make models for them. But now they've brought it back with an actual official model, which is this. Which we got a cheeky kind of by the time I'd zoomed in <laughs> for the video pixelated look at this lad yesterday but now we have glorious high resolution or relatively high, mm, <laughs> we've got we've got a better picture let's just put it that way you know what now we've got a better look at it I do think this looks pretty decent I quite like the wing structure the wing structure is weird it jumped out at me pretty quickly just because it doesn't match like if I remember correctly anyway it doesn't match the high tyrant wing structure and I've got one right in front of me and yeah, actually no no it doesn't and there's like a weird extra joint in there it looks like so you've sort of you've got two major bones coming out from the carapace, then there's like a joint from one to the other and a smaller, like a smaller kind of digit almost coming down to form the uh, the first the first section of the wings. It's a weird look. It is it is kind of unusual, but I do like it. I think it looks kind of cool. The only thing that <laughs> that's throwing me is the. It feels like he's got little baby legs. I don't know how else to put it. So, like, when you look at the main body, look at the main body, you've got the upper arms, which have got, like, these talons coming out of them. Grand, fine. Then you've got what look like... They don't look like other arms. They look like little spindly legs coming out just above, like, where the where the wings end on the body. So you've got that kind of flap of... you got the uh, you got the flaps. You've got some lower flaps there. And I don't know why, but... They just look they just look like little little baby legs sticking out. But then they end in weird tentacles, which is I think the join between the two is what's throwing me a little bit. It looks a little bit strange. It almost feels like the tentacles are just just like grow out of the legs without that join in them. I don't know. I I'm not I'm not sure about that bit. The big like stinger on the tail looks cool. I do like the uh the kind of ribbed structure on the on the tail. That looks good as well. The face is horrific, which is fine. I mean, that's kind of what you'd expect from Tyranids anyway. But I think they've, I think they've kept it, they've kept it pretty close to the artwork. It's, it's obviously a bit different, but all the major cues are there. So yeah, I think, I think it looks all right overall. Quite nice. So this is, uh, this is the Parasite of Mortrex, first originally mentioned in the fifth edition Tyranid Codex. And uh, the Crusade rules have allowed Tyranny characters to mimic its horrifying implant attack, but nothing compares to the real deal. So, yeah, this is the first version of this. That face is really grim. I think it's the lack of lower teeth. You've got these big, like, fangs at the top, but then nothing at the bottom. The baby legs thing is really... <laughs> it's really looking prominent now from the back. I do like the way they've painted the back of that, though. All the pink... Like, all the pink around the back of the wings coming down from like the main body and around those legs. It looks like it's been stretched or bruised. Ugh, looks horrible. And that like weird wing structure is really, really obvious from the back as well. From the top, I guess. Top, back, same difference. Yeah, I do like that. I do like it. It's 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 weird and creepy, as uh, as Tyranids have every right to be, to be honest. So it does have a, a, cool, a cool rule, which if you're a Tyranid player, then you'll already know about because of crusade but 16 inch move <laughs> that's that's pretty quick pretty fast two plus weapon skills strength five tons like six wounds six attacks four up save it's not bad it's not bad so got clawed limbs can rip enemies to shreds etc etc but it also has the barbed ovipositor 
which is a weird... I, I'm assuming that's a real word. Is it a real word? Yeah, it is. A tubular organ through which a female insect or fish deposits eggs. Lovely. Very nice. Gross. Anyway, so... <laughs> The fun thing, the fun thing is the uh, is the ability that it has. So parasitic infection. Each time the bear fights, it makes one additional attack with this weapon, and no more than one attack can be made with this weapon while resolving that fight. Each time an attack is made with this weapon successfully towards an enemy unit, excluding vehicles, you can't lay eggs in a tank. Well, I suppose technically you could, but let's let's move on. That unit suffers one mortal wound in addition to any normal damage and becomes infected with parasites. At the start of your opponent's command phase, for each enemy unit that is infected with parasites, they must roll 1d6. On a 1 to 3, that unit suffers d3 mortal wounds and is no longer infected. On a 4 to 6, it suffers d3 mortal wounds and remains infected. And if it suffers two or more mortal wounds as a result of this ability, set up a new Ripper Swarm unit on the battlefield within three inches of that unit and not within engagement range of any enemy units. The Ripper Swarms unit contains one model. If you're playing against a user points limit, it does not cost any reinforcement points. So effectively, this little critter can fly over to you, stab you, plant some eggs, and then get some free Rippers out of your lads. Nice. Great. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, and as a bonus, by the way, they also get It Itches. So while a unit is infected with parasites, it loses the objective's secured ability. Really is just adding insult to injury, isn't it? <laughs> nice. Overall, I quite like this. This is a fun model. It's a good-looking model. There's uh, there's some little design elements from all the other Tyranny stuff. Of course, it needs to look like a Tyranny model, but it is most definitely its own thing. I think it stands on its own. It doesn't look completely the same as anything else. It has its own identity, and the ability it comes with is a lot of fun. Also, I just like I like how fast it is as well. A little bit terrifying. Question is, what do you think? Do you like it? Do you not like it? What do you think of the ability? Let me know in the comments down below. In the meantime, feel free to click all the things, Patreon, video, subscribe, all that stuff. Click it if you like, don't click it if you don't want to. And as always, there's an affiliate link in the description for Element Games. You can use to support the channel if you would like. And there's also one for Noble Night Games if you're in the US. I leave it in your capable hands. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.